Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Electrified R44 flies, Paramount sued over rights to Blockbuster Film, Report chides FAA for 737 max debacle. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Electrified R44 flies. Magnix, the Washington state-based Singapore-owned manufacturer of electric aircraft motors, announced the successful first flight of an all-electric Robinson 44 helicopter powered by a Magnix electric propulsion unit. The Saturday, June 4th flight was conducted at California's Los Alamitos Army Airfield by Tier 1 Engineering, a Santa Ana-based provider of engineering services specializing in lightweight aircraft structures. Magnix's CEO Nuno Taborda states, quote, This landmark event demonstrates yet again Magnix's commitment to lead the electrification of aviation by designing and delivering industry-leading products through smart innovation and customer centricity, end quote. Tier 1 is developing the all-electric Robinson R44 for Lung Biotechnology PBC, a Maryland biotech company seeking means by which to address the severe shortage of transplantable organs in the U.S. The experimental helicopter's power plant comprises a Tier 1 battery system integrated with a Magnix EPU. Currently, Tier 1 is working with the FAA Aircraft Certification Office in Los Angeles for purpose of obtaining a supplemental type certificate for the electric R44 project. Pending certification, Lung Biotechnology PBC plans to acquire a fleet of such aircraft, which it will use to transport organs for human transplant. And after the break, Apollo 1 astronauts honored with monument. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at aviationsafetyresources.com. In Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some other interesting stories. Apollo 1 astronauts honored with monument. More than half a century after a tragic launch pad fire claimed their lives, the crew members of NASA's Apollo 1 mission were honored with a monument at Arlington National Cemetery. Families of the three deceased astronauts requested a Latin motto meaning a rough road leads to the stars be carved into the monument. On January 27, 1967, three weeks ahead of the mission launch date, astronauts Virgil, Gus Grissom, Edward Wright, and Roger Chaffee perished during a pre-flight simulation when an electrical fire broke out in the pure oxygen of the Apollo 1 command module. Big bucks. FAA awards $518 million to improve critical airport infrastructure. The FAA has awarded $518 million to build safer, more accessible airports across the country. The second round of the 2022 Airport Improvement Program Awards includes 416 grants to airports across the U.S. to fund a variety of projects such as construction of new and improved airport facilities, repair to runways and taxiways, maintenance of airfield elements like lighting or signage, and purchasing equipment needed to operate and maintain airports. Ethics Board quits over proposed drone technology. Taser maker Axon Enterprises shelving a promising project that would equip drones with stun guns for purpose of combating mass shootings. The measure came too late to stop nine of the company's 12-member ethics advisory board members from announcing their resignations in protest of the emergent technology. The May 24th school shooting in Uvalde, Texas prompted Axon to announce it was working on a forward-thinking drone system that first responders could operate remotely to fire a taser at a target up to 40 feet away. 
Stolen Russian Airliners Banned from Chinese Airspace China's Civil Aviation Authority has banned over 500 Russian airliners from the country's airspace. Subject aircraft were effectively stolen from lessors by Russian airlines operating in accordance with an apocryphal edict issued by Russia's Aviation Authority. The surreal story deprives of escalating diplomatic strain between Moscow and the West, and increasingly stringent trade restrictions levied across Russia in the wake of its February 2022 invasion of Ukraine. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Paramount sued over rights to blockbuster film. Paramount Pictures has been sued by the family of Ehud Yane, author of the 1983 article Top Guns, upon which the 1986 film Top Gun was based. The suit was brought by the author's heirs, Shosh and Yuval Yone, who allege Paramount's rights to the article ended in 2020. Paramount, in a reported move that belies Top Gun Maverick's May 8, 2021 completion date, argued the film was sufficiently completed before its rights to the original article expired. A Hollywood news source reports the Yone family sent Paramount a cease and desist letter on May 11, 2022, weeks before the release of Top Gun Maverick. The Yone family is represented by attorneys Mark Tovaroff and Alex Kaczynski, who jointly state, quote, This case arises out of Paramount's conscious failure to reacquire the requisite film and ancillary rights to the Yone's copyrighted story prior to the completion and release of their derivative 2022 sequel, end quote. Paramount is alleged to have denied the sequel as derivative of the original article. Paramount said, quote, These claims are without merit and we will defend ourselves vigorously, end quote. And after these messages, report chides FAA for 737 MAX debacle. Pilot Communications USA is proud to introduce our latest headsets, the Carbon A1 Active Noise Reduction and the Carbon P1 Passive Headset. Carbon fiber makes our headsets 30% lighter than others, which significantly reduces pilot fatigue. Our Blue Link hand control unit allows you to connect two devices at the same time, and the record out capability can send audio to an onboard camera or digital recorder. Get the headset that's so light you may forget you're wearing one at pilot-usa.com. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit flyskyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. Report chides FAA for 737 MAX debacle. A report commissioned by the FAA may influence a crucial, looming decision about Boeing's not yet certified to fly 737 MAX 10. The March 2022 report is highly critical of the FAA's exemption of early 737 MAX models from best practice pilot warning systems. The as-of-yet uncertified MAX 10's crew alerting system has been upgraded but still falls short of complying with the current best practices safety regulations. The report from MITRE states the FAA's exemption from the best practices crew alerting standard contributed to two high-profile 737 MAX accidents and influenced Boeing to suppress information about the now infamous Maneuvering Characteristics Augmentation System to which the crashes are attributed. The FAA has informed Boeing that the MAX 10 certification is unlikely to be completed in 2022. Congress, therefore, must decide whether to extend a deadline. Doing so would grant the MAX 10 the self-same short-sighted exemption granted to its predecessors. The decision is a crucial one for Boeing. Should Congress insist the MAX 10 crew alert systems be updated, Boeing would be obligated to either abandon the MAX 10 program, a drastic step that would negate years of development work and leave Boeing stuck with several hundred specimens already sold, or modify the 10's cockpit system. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.